Hey, what's up, y'all? It's popping this big boss reaction to this video by Deji. This is It's Time to Open Up. A few of y'all was telling me to watch this, you know, because I have reacted to a few KSI videos recently, and y'all told me to, uh, to watch this video about Deji opening up. Looks like he's crying in the thumbnail. I don't know if that's clickbait or what, but I am curious to see what's going on. I like Deji. I like him and his brother. So, yeah, let's, let's see what's happening. Let's watch. Hey! What's up, guys? What's up? My name is Deji Olatunji. I am 23 years old, soon to be 24. And uh, you may know me as Deji or... No, the fuck he Corey is. I thought he was so like what I'm about to talk about in this video is bigger than anything I've ever talked about on that's this crazy. channel. So okay. I've teamed up with Movember to spread awareness about something that's really important to me, which a lot of men and women struggle with behind closed doors. Many people are, are afraid to open up about me? their feelings, which can cause deep depression, loneliness i've also been afraid to open up about my feelings which is why for the first time ever I don't know what i'm going to be completely transparent <clears throat> in this video i'm going to be talking about things that have happened in the past few years which some of you have experienced with me my member's goal is to spread awareness about young adults opening up to their friends and their loved ones so i'm going to set an example and show the benefits of opening up about your struggles by opening up myself. Oh, maybe this is okay. So 2020 has arguably been one of the worst years that we've experienced so far. I'm obviously talking about COVID-19. Okay. From this evening, I must give the British but people a very simple as a whole. instruction. You must stay at home. So COVID hit us all like a rock out of nowhere. People lost their jobs, schools had to shut down, and many more. Social interactions literally became non-existent. And this had a great impact on majority of people. So many people found it hard to cope with such drastic changes, which obviously affected a lot of people's mental health. And I'd be lying if I said it didn't affect mine. I am blessed to be in the position that I'm in, that I'm able to work from home. But unfortunately, not a lot of people have that same luxury like I do. It did affect me tremendously as someone who suffers from asthma. I had to limit my interactions with the outside world and stay at home for my own safety. So whenever I do go outside, I do get noticed by fans who come up to me for a talk. But now with these recent events, our interactions are limited and not as personal, which does affect me and the relationship I have with my fans. I had a few COVID scares, which I was impulsive to make a few videos on. What further heightened my fear was my parents leaving the house a lot during the pandemic, before the lockdown, so I isolated myself for the most part. Keeping myself busy during these events has helped me cope with distress and fear, as well as watching other YouTubers and keeping up to date with my friends online. So I've reached out to my childhood friends about the situation and we gave each other tips on how we can both stay safe. Playing games and immersing with the online world has also helped me escape reality as well as get away from all the negativity. I'm out the loop. So the first thing I want to open up about happened last year. I'm sure everyone watching is familiar with the beef that I had with my brother that happened late 2018, early 2019. And my behavior in some of these videos cannot be excused nor ignored. And a simple sorry won't fix what happened. I hold a lot of regret within myself for putting out these videos. Oh, in the man. end, I only hurt myself a bit and of course my brother. Whereas at the end of the day, all we have is family. Like we may go broke and end up on the streets, but my family, they're bound to me. And I put something that valuable in jeopardy. And I lost myself in the process. I was down on the ground for quite some time and eventually I had to pick myself up for not only the fans who were counting on me, but for myself. Never once did I have the intentions to worry you or even upset you with my actions or my problems. And realistically, I should have been open about this a long time ago. Opening up emotionally to my close friends and my family made me think twice that I really do have value. It really made me realize that I have value and everyone has value. I may do stupid things and regret them afterwards, but I never stop being a human being. We all make mistakes, big or minor. 
But all we can do is learn from them, use that knowledge that we have to become a better person every single day. That being said, the series of videos that I have about my brother during our beef, I will be removing all of them. They will, they will be gone once and for all. I'm not proud of these videos because they don't represent my brother for who he really is. My brother is really important to me. What the like, fuck? He's, he's the reason why I'm doing YouTube, if I'm being honest. Like, my yeah. brother is so important to me. I'm just happy that he, for, he, he forgave me. Like, he has no right to forgive me for what I've done. What I did was selfish, disgusting, distasteful. There are too many words in the, in the dictionary to describe how bad Why I was. Saying? What I did is disgusting. And the fact that he's forgiven me Ooh. is... I'm forever grateful for that. So like that's why I'm choosing to mind. delete every single video. And now I can't even watch it. Look what y'all did. My brother is a kind-hearted soul. He's had my back through thick and thin. Anytime I needed him, he was always Yine. there for me. Every time. So when I was being a reckless brother, I regret it. Honestly, I regret it. So that's why the videos are all gone. Oh, it was man. made in a heated mindset. And I guess I had bad influence around me. This makes me say, surround yourself with people that love you and people that want the best for you. Surround yourself with positive people. With that being said, mm. I take full responsibility and that's why the video is being taken down. For now, onto why I uploaded those videos. I'm being true to my feelings. My brother has a big influence on YouTube. People love him, I love him too. But despite that, I let certain people and the hate get to me. It, it got to the point where I started to blame him for it. And that and that's something that I never should have done. It's not his fault, it's my fault. I was trying to be as inspiring as him. I felt like my achievements were being looked down upon, but I know that's all in my head. I felt like I was just in his shadow. And again, that was all in my head. That was just the hate getting to me and me letting the hate get to me. My brother has his talents and I have my own talents. I shouldn't have let people's words get to me. Realistically, I should have never compared myself with someone else. Like, even to this day, I still feel really bad about it, but I'm glad that I'm able to get this off my chest. What happened? What so, you to my brother, JJ, KSI, all I want to say is I'm sorry for what I've done. Like, I'm really sorry. I should be your mm. brother. You know what I mean? Like, I should be someone that you can come to. Oh, I, I apologize, man. Honestly, like, uh, I'm really sorry. I didn't want to jeopardize, like, what you have. You know what I mean? I didn't want to jeopardize. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you about to cry? I didn't want... Oh, I didn't want to... Um, no. Because I know you... Oh, it, like, you felt that you couldn't even talk to your own parents, man. You honestly felt that you couldn't talk to your own parents, and I'm sorry that I made that. I'm, I'm sorry that I made that. I'm, not, uh, I'm sorry that I made you feel that way. I'm really sorry, man. I'm sorry that I caused that, and you should know this that I love you to be scared. So I, um, I just want you to know I that. Like Bro, honestly, I really want you to know that because I, I feel like you don't. I feel like you don't really know that, and I'm, I'm really sorry, man. Honestly, I'm really sorry. I'm really oh, sorry. No. I'm really sorry, JJ. I'm really sorry. What happened? Stop. Because you really want the best for me. And you said that to me. You said you only want the best with me. I'm sorry that. I'm sorry that. I'm, that I'm gone. I'm, I'm really sorry, man. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Oh, I didn't want to cry this video, but honestly, I'm so sorry, bro. I'm so sorry. I had there's nothing I could do really that will that will prove that I'm sorry. I said, I'm really. I'm, I'm such a bad brother. I was, I've been such a bad brother to you these past years. Like, I I let scumbags get in the way of me and you. I let 
people get in the way of, of me and you, and I'm so sorry. Honestly, I'm so sorry, and I will never do that again. For the rest of my life, I will I prove to you that, that I have your back forever. For the whole of my life, I will prove to you that I have your back. You want, I love you to bits, and, and I will never, ever jeopardize anything again. I'm such a fool. I'm such a bad brother. And I, I made it out as if you were the enemy. And I was just, I was just lashing out. I was being stupid and I'm so sorry. But anyway, <sighs> hopefully you will find it in your heart to forgive me, bro. Honestly. Baby, you're already forgiving me. You're good. Oh my God, this is a uh, really unexpected. Looking back, there's a lot that I regret. Maybe it's a questionable video or misguided jokes and me not thinking about the message it sends and my responsibility as an influencer. I have no doubt made mistakes, but I have matured a lot considerably over the last year and I've tried putting out content that has more of a positive impact to the world. I may not be perfect, but it's a journey that I'm committed to. Part of the journey is me being more honest about the things that's going on with my life and sharing that with you guys on my YouTube channel. So, opening up to your friends and family, putting yourself in a vulnerable position, being sad or even upset, that's one way that's really helped me open up to people. And I really feel like it would benefit young guys too if they were to do the same. Put yourself in a vulnerable position. Around people where you start to think if these guys aren't good. If you start to feel or have to think that you're not doing the right thing, then you're most likely not doing I agree with that. I'm only skimming through this Venting because- Venting is something that you need to do. Talking about your struggles is something that helps you go forward in life. I agree. Hearts. Not just me, my mom and my dad. So TJ has brought us so much joy, and honestly, TJ, he means so much to us Is that we will give it? TJ the best life that we can possibly give him and what he deserves. And that is what we're doing, because TJ is a bundle of joy. I okay, I'm only skimming through this, and I'm going to stop it, because I don't have the details. I do like Deji and KSI, but I've been very vocal about me not watching them i don't watch them you know <laughs> and i like them because i used to react to them quite a bit like years ago um so from the videos that i've watched in the past i did you know enjoy their personalities but as far as this current stuff that's going on i don't have any information so i i didn't expect this i honestly i didn't skim through this video because i wanted it to be um an authentic you know first reaction usually i'll skim through a video just to see what you know the vibe is but that's usually like a compilation like a funny compilation or something like that but this was just like okay i want to get an honest reaction to what he's talking about so i don't know what to expect i don't know if he's going to troll or what but yeah clearly this is very real and um he's referencing this beef that i have no knowledge of at all so i wish i would have said something like bruh <laughs> So I could have at least looked that up or something. I know he said he's deleted the videos, but I'm sure people have reacted to it or something. So I could have at least, you know, got some type of backstory. Because I have no idea what was going on or what he's talking about at all. Like, so I guess they were doing diss tracks on each other. Maybe he just did diss tracks on KSI. I don't know where this stemmed from. I don't know. And then he's talking about TJ. I'm assuming that they have a pet or something. Or what if they adopted a kid or something? I don't listen <laughs> I, I, I don't have the information that i need so i just didn't feel right continuing especially with him being so vulnerable and breaking down crying it's felt really bad and it's just like i don't even know what's going on i wish y'all y'all would have told me what, what was happening but um he does seem genuinely sorry and i felt that i felt um him being authentic in this video and i hope that him and his brother can repair their relationship um if you know a lot of damage has occurred between them because yeah, that's your brother. Like, you know, your sibling is supposed to be your ride or die. You feel me? So, and they're so close in age, I'm sure. So, um, yeah, it, it would be unfortunate if their relationship is fucked up. But yeah, hopefully they get it together. But yeah, this this was this is pretty deep. Y'all, let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what other videos you want me to watch, and I'll see y'all the next one.